Is Netflix jumping overseas? YouTube's new redesign is radical. More Google Plus news and even more Apple news. And much, much more. This is Tech Dose. So yes, there is two Dans in this Tech Dose. There's one from the past, this one, and one for the present, this one. I recorded that one quite a long time ago. Rob was gonna film his part, but then he couldn't, and then you record it, and then Final Cut Pro crashed, so I'm having to go with it. So yeah, there's two Dans, and there's a lot of news. So Netflix coming to the UK? What? So it could be coming to the UK and Spain by the start of 2012. It has been unconfirmed and Netflix has no comment on this rumour. We have Love Film over here, with, which is like film rentals and game rentals just like Netflix. They have strong grounds in the UK and this could be competition between both. I use Love Film and I love it so so much. Netflix is quite bad in the US right now, like they bumped up the prices and everyone's really angry and leaving it. So if Netflix came over here, I probably wouldn't join over to it. Apple released iOS 4.3.4 this week, which brings no new features. But it's a patch which covers a PDF vulnerability found in the popular jailbreak site, jailbreakme.com. And already, the iPhone hacking community has jailbroken the firmware. I recommend staying on 4.3.3 just because 4.3.4 is nothing new, and if you have it jailbroken, why not stay on 4.3.3? And 4.3.4 is tethered right now. So just stay on it. So the popular website, YouTube, has changed. It is currently in beta and this is just like an experiment they're trying out. It's not like proper, it's not gonna come out straight away and they're gonna be like, bam, here it is. They have changed the channel page, the video page, the black backdrop, which I really like it. It helps me look at the video so much easier. They've changed the size of the video, the profile pictures on the comments, you can actually see who's commenting. Who comments on like every video, you can see their like little pictures. You'll be like, oh yeah, I know them. You can apply by going to youtube.com forward slash cosmic panda and click try it out. You can always revert back to the original design by clicking on the older version. This week, Google has announced that they have over 10 million users on Google+. 10 million users, that's so, so much. The social network is still currently in beta. So this shows a good sign that this website will be a really big hit. I really like the site. I use it. I have a Google Plus account. If you want to follow me, there's a link right here. Somewhere. I'm, I'm guessing right here. You know, just go to it and... Maybe follow me on Google+. Plus. Now even though 10 million sounds like a lot of users, I think Facebook has over 175 million users. You know, that's not much as well. So yeah, Google+, Plus is like a little baby compared to Facebook right now. And last Wednesday, Apple refreshed the MacBook Air, the Mac Mini, and the cinema displays. MacBook Air specs now have a Intel Core i5 or i7 processors, which is probably the best processors right now as one Thunderbolt ports, everything's now going to Thunderbolt by Apple, as a sleek backlit keyboard which they removed in the second generation, but now it's in the third generation it looks really really lush and it's a lot lot faster. The new features for the Mac Mini is that it also has a Intel Core i5 or i7 processor. It has upgraded graphics so you can play Call of Duty or whatever you want to play on a Mac and also has a Thunderbolt port so Thunderbolt yet again on every computer they have. They have new Thunderbolt displays which was just like the cinema displays but it has a lot more things like a Thunderbolt port, FaceTime HD camera, like four USBs I think and speakers so it's basically like an iMac but without the proper computer stuff and it's really expensive so I'm not going to get that. Google Plus is now available on iOS and it has the amazing price tag of free. Now it's only available on the iPhone 3G, 3GS and the iPhone 4, which I really don't get because what about the iPod Touch and the iPad users? Well, Google Plus confirmed that they will be having apps for both of them very soon. Now the user interface is really nice and it's much, much better than the web app. You can upload photos, make posts, comment, everything which you can do on the Google Plus site, you can do it right on the iPhone. And yeah, I just love it. And Google Plus is such an amazing social network, so just go and get it if you have a Google Plus account. Also, with the Apple hardware refresh, they released OS X Lion. You can buy it for $30 or £21 from the Mac App Store. Me and Rob both have it and we love it so, so much. There's nothing wrong with it, there is like a few bugs but there's actually gonna be an update very soon coming this week or next week. So there's loads of new features including Launchpad, which is like the iPad on your desktop, multi-touch gestures, which is really cool. You can actually change spaces with like three fingers. They have full screen apps as well, like iTunes is really good in full screen, so you can actually scroll through all your music. Mission Control, where you get to see all your open programs, everything open, and it's just a really easy and simple place to 
check out a review of everything. They also have AirDrop where you connect from one Mac to another, no Wi-Fi required, they use a Wi-Fi signal to send files together, such a good idea and I really want to try it out. You know all of those fake iPhones they sell in China, like Android phones as well, just basically any phone. Like China makes knockoff ones and now there's a Kerf Apple Store. No joke. A fake Apple Store? Really? Yes. So the store sells everything Apple, I mean everything Apple. They even have staff wearing Apple-like t-shirts with like the blue and like the little Apple logo. And a reporter who went to the store says it's the best rip-off store. Now I think that's quite weird that like there's a rip-off store. I mean rip-off phones is okay. Not really, but a store is like going way too far and I think Apple's gonna be really, really mad about this. So if you're ever in China, just go and drop off over there, go and buy, you know, like an iPad and just be like, ha, it's not even a proper Apple store. So thank you very much for watching this episode of Tech Dose. Do you like the YouTube redesign? Are you upgrading to OS X Lion? Do you like Google Plus? Comment down below. If you wanna follow us on Twitter, there's links right here and there's our Twitter usernames somewhere right here I'm probably not even pointed in the right places like right here somewhere I don't know it's, it's gone crap please subscribe for more weekly tech news this has been Rob and Dan from Tech Dose see you in the next one peace, peace.